hello everyone in this video i'm going to explain everything you need to know about the pen tool and we start right now subscribe and click on the bell so you won't miss any video okay the pen tool is used to create parts it can be used to create smooth parts that you can stroke with a brush or turn to a selection. The pen tool is effective for designing and selecting smooth surfaces or layouts. Now I'm going to tell you why you should use the pen tool. The pen tool is the most accurate way to create cutouts in Photoshop and your pen parts are always editable. And lastly, you can make accurate selections from your parts. Now you know what the pen tool is and why you should use the pen tool. I'm going to tell you guidelines you should note when using the pen tool. The pen tool allows you to create points and make a curve or line in your images. These points are called anchor points which joins a line or curve together. A quick tip here is use simple points as possible. When using the pen tool, take note of these three points. One is control on your keyboard, two is alternate, and P as the shortcut key for pen tool. When using the pen tool, don't forget P is the shortcut key for pen tool. The pen tool creates two types of curve, the complex curve and the simple curve. The simple curve is a point and you draw a curve and create another point which forms just one curve. While the complex curve is point A, you create a curve and you get point B and create another point and you create point C. Now this forms more than two points and the pen tool always wants to create curves and create curves till infinity. If you continue using the pen tool, it will always create curves, 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 curves till infinity. But you can control these curves by using alternate. When you click on alternate, then you click on any anchor point you can change that curve to a straight line or an angle so when using the pen tool don't forget the simple curves and the complex curves the simple curves has only two anchor points and complex curve has more than two anchor points now i think i'm talking more about theory let's go into practical now i'm going to cut out the background of this image using the pen tool and i will press p on my keyboard and my pen tool is activated then i can zoom in and create a point here which is point a and i'm going to create another point here to create a simple curve now i have two points automatically this is a simple curve here now i want to create another curve i'm going to press alternate on my keyboard and click on this anchor point to create another curve like this as you can see i have a complex curve this time around now i want to show you a quick tip if i want to change from these curves because like i said the pen tool always want to create curves but you can change these curves to lines for example i want to change to a line if you press alternate on your keyboard and click on this anchor point you can have a straight line like this but once you click and drag it changes to a curve so i'm going to press ctrl z to take all this back now i'll continue with my cutouts i'm going to be very slow so you see the step-by-step -step process on how to use the pen tool click here again click here again to create another curve like this one here okay zoom in a little to see the details press alternate and continue like this press alternate click here my cutout may not be perfect but ensure you know how to use this 
and I'm very slow cause because I want you to master this tutorial I'm creating simple curves all together I'm going to click here and here and I'll click here okay press alternate and create this curve here okay and I'll continue my cut out Now you can use control to edit your curve like this. When you press control on your keyboard, you hold the point here to edit your curve if it was not straight. While alternate changes the direction of your curve. And I've come to the last point of this image so i'm going to join my anchor point here you can see i've been able to select this using the paint now for me to take the background of this image i'm going to right click and click on make selection choose the feathers you want to use and um, for me i'm going to use two okay then you can see i've been able to select the image and I'm selecting the image not the background but I want to take out the background so I'm going to click on select and click on inverse and you can see I've been able to select the background then unlock my layer and simply click on delete and as you can see I've been able to cut out this image in a very nice way you can use the pen tool to cut out images like this. It's very easy and it's very lovely when using the pen tool to cut out background images. And mind you, for the start, you may not be too fast and you may not be accurate when using the pen tool. But the more you use it, the more you get used to it and the more perfect you use it. So start now to use the pen tool and you enjoy using the pen tool and i'll be making more videos on how to use the pen tool to cut out background images and to make selections thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video